I am thrilled to present the next award, the inaugural Pop Culture Icon Award, to my friend, my co-star, a man I have had the absolute pleasure of working with for the last six years, on a little show you might know. I wasn't really sure what to expect when I joined this cast, I have to be honest. I came in pretty late into the casting process as a recast, but any fears I had were quickly put to bed because the man who was going to lead the show I had just joined was kind and funny and generous and British. And we had so many inside Commonwealth jokes, me being South African, him being Welsh. Um, I knew I was in for a good laugh on our show. Tom is, as I just said, kind, generous, loving, all of those things. As an actor, he is so incredibly prepared. And what that did for us over the course of shooting Lucifer was really just raise the bar. It meant that all of us came in knowing that if we were in a scene with him, we better bring our A game. And if you were a guest cast member, you better do the same. Um, he is someone who loves acting. And that was one of the things I loved so much about being in a scene with Tom. He loved it as much as I did. And he was always ready to have a laugh and always ready to goof around, but the work always came first and the stakes were always so high for him because he spent so much time here in Los Angeles away from his kids. If he was gonna do that, it better be for something worthy. Um, Tom, I, I am so happy to have met you I'm so happy to have had the pleasure of working opposite you. I'm so happy to have shared this journey with you. Our last scene together is something I will never forget. It's, it stands out for me. Um, we were so present and you were so giving and I'm just so happy that I get to present you with this award. So congratulations, Tom Ellis. You are a pop culture icon. Thank you, thank you, Hollywood Critics Association. I am hugely honoured to be receiving this award. Um, I've got loads of people to say thank you to, but I'm going to start by saying that six years ago, I opened up a pilot script for a TV show called Lucifer and wasn't sure what to expect, but by about the third page, I had completely and utterly fallen in love with this unique, bonkers character of Lucifer Morningstar. Um, it's been quite an epic journey since then, both on and off screen. We've had, um, we've had relocations and cancellations and a huge fan uprising. But I just want to say it makes me so happy to sit here now and think about the fact that six years later, so many people have fallen in love with Lucifer the same way I did that first time. So thank you. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my amazing cast. <laughs> You're just the best. And you've made me laugh for six years and we've played together and I, I wouldn't swap anything to do with that experience, you have been a gift. Um, I'd like to thank um, Netflix, I'd like to thank Warner Brothers, I'd like to thank Brookheimer TV, um, and of course I'd love to thank our, our producers, our showrunners and our writers for creating <laughs> a show that is multi genre that is about the devil solving crimes and has still become a global hit. So thank you guys. Um, I'd like to thank my wife, Megan for her steadfast love and her support and her counsel over the years and I'd like to thank my children for still loving me even though shooting this show meant spending so much time away from you. I love you so much guys. Um, but I think my main thank you goes to our fans, the Lucy fans, because without them I don't think I'd be sitting here. Um, when the show was cancelled their reaction was so overwhelming, it was tenacious, it was full of love. Um, and quite frankly, it was incredibly moving. Um, but what it did was it gave us a new home at Netflix um, and it gave us an opportunity to finish the story we always wanted to tell. And for that, I will be eternally grateful. So Lucy fans, this is for you. Thank you so much.